So we've maneuvered all our way back to the infamous bumper from hell. For those of you not, uh, or haven't followed long enough to know, and by the way, this is just going to get popped out, so don't worry about it. Um, but actually, I'm thinking seriously about like drilling a hole like here and putting a round marker and just filling that in with a, you know, a lot of, uh, or a panel and some goop and, you know, body filler and just get rid of it. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But what's cool is now that I'm back to here. Oh, let me back up and tell you the story. So for those of you who aren't familiar. This is a 1975 Corvette. It had rubber bumpers. Where are they? Oh, there's one. Polyurethane. It also had a lot of metal that... I guess they thought it was important. I don't know. I took it all out. I raced the car, so whatever. Anyway, so back to this. So my son has a 72 Corvette. And I... Uh, was going to get that car, but I traded him a Nova for the, anyway, long story short, he needed a parts car, because his 72 came with no rear end, at all, so, unlike me, I had a rear end to start with, so he needed parts, so we bought a, or he bought a 1972 Corvette, we go pick that sucker up, and it was cheap, it was 1200 bucks, we go to pick it up, and I'm like, wait a second, this isn't a 72. And, but the title said 72. But nope, it wasn't a 72. It was a 73 that was made in 1972. So the title was 1972 because their computers back then, I guess, couldn't figure it out or something. But whatever, it wasn't a 73. I mean, a 72. It was a 73 that was born in 72, in November of 72. Kind of like mine was born in 1974. But anyway, I digress. So back to the story. So he doesn't need a rear bumper. I'm sorry. In 1968 to 72, they were like this. They were all part of the back clip. But in 77, no, 75. Yeah, no, 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 no. 74, they started with a two-piece bumper. Um, and they look like crap. They, they warp, they, especially 50 year old plastic. So the whole point of this is to make my car look a lot better and not have rubber bumpers. So we stole the rear end from the 73. Only there was very little that was good about it. It was just a total mess. Um, here's, here's what we had this is what we were working with here just to give you an idea so this was that so I made this out of fiberglass and spray foam now there isn't any spray foam in there anymore let me give you a peek up in there it's dusty but there's no spray foam anymore and there's something else up there you probably noticed which was a bonding strip so we fiberglassed a bonding strip or I did all the way around and then made this sucker all one piece so now we're going through and doing the fine sanding to get this thing pretty and looking good for high bill primer so once we get it to looking good for high bill primer which looks like hopefully Saturday or Sunday I moved the Ford over, so I'll be able to roll this guy back. Or actually, I'll be able to start it if I wanted to with some a little bit of wiring. I'll be able to roll this sucker back and bar it up on its own power. Plus, it'll make it easier to get back in if it starts to rain, to having it running. So, we'll go get it running. We'll be able to back it up and then spray the high bill primer right here the u-paul super duper body shop special 20 series look it's just moving on its own 